This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I fill a hole on a single-sided object? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model here loaded in. So this is just a piece of sculpted fabric here, and as you can see, it is single-sided, and it has a few holes on the mesh itself. So the question is asking about having something like this and then coming through and filling these holes. So I'm going to cover two processes you can use inside a ZBrush to fill holes on your model like this. The first process I'm going to cover is going to be using the ZModeler brush. So I'm just going to make sure I have my model in the scene here. And I'm going to go over to the brush palette over here and open this up. And then in here, I want to locate the ZModeler brush. So I can isolate by the letter Z and then press M or just come in there and select the Z modeler brush. Now, the Z modeler brush is a context sensitive brush inside a ZBrush, and it's generally used with models that contain a low amount of polygons. So this model here has 1 million points, and if I turn my polyframes here, you can see that it's pretty dense. However, I can still use the Z modeler brush to close these holes on this mesh. So the process we're going to use from the Z modeler brush is the edge action close holes. So first with my model here, I wanna zoom in so I can clearly see the polygonal divisions on this mesh. So from out here, you can see it's just a jumble of wireframes. So I wanna get in pretty close to one of these holes. So to do this, I'm going to use visibility. So I'm gonna hold down Control and Shift, which is going to give me my select rectangle brush. And I'm just gonna draw a rectangle out here on the side. Now after I have this drawn out, I'm gonna hold spacebar down and this is gonna allow me to move this rectangle. And basically what I wanna do is I wanna move it and have it come across one of these holes. So have it frame around a hole like this. And then after I have this positioned like so, I'm just going to release, and this will now just show me that part of the mesh. So it's going to change the visibility on the model and only show me this part. Now that I have this part isolated, I can click this frame button over here, and this is now going to zoom into that part. So now I can see these little polygons that are making up this hole. I can turn on my polyframes here, and now I can zoom in a little more, because basically what I want to do is I want to be able to select these individual edges, points, and polys using the ZModeler brush. So since this model was so dense, I need to zoom in to get to this level so that I can correctly use the ZModeler brush. Now after I'm zoomed in, I want to hover over one of these edges and then press spacebar to go in the Z modeler menu. In here, I wanna locate the close option here, and then I wanna make sure I'm on concave hole. Now with this selected, if I come across the edge of the hole here and click, this will now fill that hole. So you can see it looked at the edge that followed the hole and it has now filled it in. So now if I click frame again, you can see that the hole there has now been filled with geometry, so it has now patched that hole on the mesh. So now I can turn off my polyframes here, and then I can hold down Shift, and I can smooth this out. And there we have patched that hole. Now I can get the rest of my model back by holding down Control and Shift and clicking off the canvas, and I'll return the visibility. Then I can press Frame again to get zoomed back out to my entire model. So you can see that hole that was right there has now been filled, and my model is still single-sided. Now, if you have multiple holes on a mesh, you can also use the close holes functionality that lives in the geometry palette. So if I go to the tool palette over here and then go to the geometry tab and then come down here to modify topology, there is a close holes button here. Now you'll notice when I click this button that these holes will be filled in. So you can see both of these holes have now been filled. However, if I rotate around the back of the model, you can see that the back of the model has also been filled with geometry. So the close holes option here is going to look at all the holes on your model and it's going to fill everything. So I only really wanted this hole and this hole filled and not the parts on the back. Well, when you use the close holes option here, if I turn on my polyframes and then disable line, you can see that anywhere a hole was closed, it is given a new polygroup. So you can see anywhere where a hole was filled, I now have a new polygroup. So what I can do now with this is then come across one of the areas where these holes were filled. I can hold down Control and Shift and then click on this, and this will isolate that polygroup. So now I have this isolated, this isolated, and then that back panel isolated. 
At this stage, I want to take these three different geometry islands here and give them all different polygroups. So I'm going to go back to the tool palette up here. I'm going to go down to the polygroup area and open this up. And in here, I'm going to click the Auto Groups button. So when you click Auto Groups, it's going to look at the geometry islands on your mesh, and then it's going to give a new polygroup to each island. So by clicking this with only part of the model exposed, you can see I now have a different polygroup on all three of those parts. Now I can return the visibility to my model by holding down Control and Shift and clicking off, which is going to bring the entire mesh back. And then what I want to do is I just want to hide the polygroup on the back. So I can hold Control and Shift again, click that polygroup to isolate it, click it again to hide it, and now I'm just going to be left with that front part of the model. At this stage, that part in the back is still only hidden, so I need to go back to the tool palette, go to the geometry area, go to Modify Topology, and then click Delete Hidden. And now I'll remove the hidden parts of the model. So now I am left with the single-sided piece of geometry, and those three holes have all been filled. At this stage, I can turn off my polyframes, increase my draw size, I can hold down Shift, and I can smooth those areas out, and now I have correctly filled those holes on that single-sided mesh. So to quickly recap, if you have a piece of geometry that is single-sided and has a bunch of holes, you can use the Z-Modeler Edge action of Close Holes to close those holes individually, or you can use the Close Holes function that is located in the Geometry Modify Topology area, which will close all the holes on the mesh, and then you can take those holes that were closed and using polygrouping isolate any holes that you didn't want to be closed. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.